can a star stop? It's not always that we come to a situation where the anvil of something big you know, is about to sort of snowball and become bigger and bigger and bigger. So this journey it didn't start with them a few months ago. It started a few years ago. So uh, I know her father very well, uh, Anna, who I've known for the last 10 years very well. And every time I've met him and I've felt horrible at myself, looking how fit he is. And so eventually I gave up. And so then I'd seen a photograph of her, 2007. And he said, now my daughter will be entering. And at that time I thought she was going to direct or something. I think you were going to America or somewhere. Yeah. And he said, no, 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 she's going to act. I said, Anna, you're an actor. It's going to be a lot of pressure on the person. Fine, so we leave that. Then I happened to see photographs of this person. This was not a man at that time, it was a person that had a typical G.I. Joe body. Nobody can have that because it's not real. It's little toys. So this man was one such real person. And that's when I realized we had something big that could happen. Suraj Pancholi. Hi. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much. That's the G.I. Joe. And Athiya, thank you so much for joining thank me. Thank you. So this very long introduction is very required because I've actually, it's been a journey. You know, a lot of people appear in front of the public and suddenly people expect so much out of them. You haven't appeared, they've been building it up and it's been building up and it's been building up. Uh, do you sometimes go like, oh my God, this Atlas shoulder that I have? Yeah. Now, the, from the two of you, she's a lot calmer. So we'll come to you first. So yeah. how do you handle this, yeah? So far, it's been really good. Everybody's been really positive. Um, yeah, so I'm not as nervous right now, but I think... Do you think about it often? I think about it every day. I've been thinking about it <laughs> since the first day of shoot. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm really excited right now. Mm. I'm in that phase. Now your dad's really calm and your mm. mother's also very calm and collected and cool. Mm. Dad comes with his few words of advice. Mm. I know that he's a nervous wreck right now. Yeah. And I know your mother is also too. Yeah. So now who's advising you? Now I'm advising them. I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, uh, yeah. I think... I'm advising them. Really? Yeah. We'll come to your advice, buddy, see, who's see, advising yeah. you. But yeah. Um, no, I mean, I go to them for different things. Uh, I've recently got a lot closer to my dad. You know, just we've become really good friends now, discuss everything. So that's a really nice, like, relationship we have. Um, so both of them for different things, actually. My mom is actually my calming factor. So, yeah, she's my backbone. So she's always giving me the calming stress. But listen, like, enjoy every moment. I, I, I want you all to be screaming and shouting when the film does come out. And it will actually happen like that. Now, listen, your dad's like this style guru, okay? No matter what he wears, with his earring or his chashma, the way he looks. Yeah. So it was all of that. Did you grow up like, I know people idolize dads. Yeah. Did you idolize your father? It wasn't about him as an actor or, you know, it was this figure of this really good looking man, like Salman Bhai once said, ye good looking, munda, tall, yeah, six yeah. feet. Was it like that with you? See, when I was a kid, I didn't really bother for what my father did or what yeah. my mother did, yeah. did you know. But um, I've uh, grown up more with my mom because dad was busy. Mm. Um, don't have his style. He has his own style. Yeah. Uh, can't be him. Yeah. Bab bab hota hai. Bilkul. But uh, yeah, uh, I think I have uh, uh, his heart and uh, I have his uh, uh, his passion to work. I think that's why I'm here. And um, didn't see a lot of his films. Uh, didn't like it. <laughs> You're so honest. I love that. I about didn't it. watch uh, my dad's movies. Didn't really? Like no, I used to get scared. Like I used to didn't love like it him, with my. Uh, uh, being with uh, other actresses on screen, you know. Really? Yeah. Wow. And same with my mother. So, yeah. You know, I, I think that happens. I, I, you know, I, you won't believe this. About 10 years back, a lot mm. of people in small villages used to think that Mr. Bachchan used to die, say his own word. That was not dialogues that were written by someone. Hmm. Aray, wo aise bolte ho, aise honge. <laughs> and so this is the reality of Indian cinema today, you know. And now you step into a zone mm. where uh, sometimes more attention than required in the last three years and you've had so many people want to know everything that he's doing. Uh, which I feel you've come out as a hero before the film Heroes actually come out. Uh, is it a lot to take in sometimes? You know, I know uh, as it's coming closer, work will be judged. See, but Sal before that, everything else is being judged. See, Salbhai, uh, for me to realize right now that I've finished a film already mm. and to be sitting here and giving this interview is also, uh, you know, I'm giving it right now but later it, it hits me after five days. Mm. And now that I've done this film and my film is, it's not even, a, there's not even a month left. And 
I'm not nervous. I'm not scared. I'm not excited because it really hasn't hit me that I've finished a, a, a okay, film, and it's yeah. called Hero. So, and the word Hero is a very big uh, yeah. t title, you know. So, uh, I'm still trying to sink it in. Uh, yes, we have got a lot of uh, positive uh, um, feedback, feedback mm. uh, and from the trailer and the song mm. Salman Sir did. But it's still hitting me day, like every single day, you know, because I still feel like uh, the Suraj from school, the Suraj from college, the Suraj from training. So I don't feel different now, but I, th I don't know what's going to happen. It, it, you know, I love to say the fact that you bring training also in there. You are both very um, hardworking people. And always, you know, you, when you come from a filmy background, you have to work a little harder. But of the two, mm. who's the more obsessive on the set? I think it would be me. Really? Yeah. The assumption like, would be him. I know, but I like everything to like be perfect. Are you a control freak? I don't know if I'm a control freak. She's a control freak. No, I'm not. She, she really, you really worry a lot. Uh, I she really stress does. a lot. About but I think what? that's a good thing because But what it are you stressing about? About anything. <laughs> I stress about like anything. If okay. I'm not stressing, I stress about why am I not stressing. So it's, I'm kind of like that. But so I have think you, have you been stressing thing. over people's? They've had great comments to say about your clothes. Hmm. We haven't, you can't say acting right now, but from what I've seen, mm -hmm. you're already being billed as the next fashionista. I don't know about all that because yeah. I'm really like. Yeah. I don't really follow trends and no, stuff like really that. No, but she's really good with her fashion, of course. Yeah, I mean, I look at her shoes, I man. Shoes, yeah. I love them. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. And it's not just all about the stylist. Huh? They've got to agree to it also. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, do, do, you, do you read columns every day? No, I don't. Really? It's kind of just. Um, I think Instagram is like this really like big way of discovering a lot of new things that are happening right now, trends and yeah. stuff. So I follow a lot of blogs, um, but also I dress for my body type and what I'm comfortable in. So if something doesn't look good on me and it's in the trend, I'm not going to just wear it because it's in that's, that, that, that's so important to be comfortable yeah. with what you're wearing. And you should and look like confident. it suits you. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Do you read stuff about you that is being written about right now? Uh, no, not really. Yeah? Uh, on Instagram, yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm not... Uh, very good at Twitter, I'm still learning, but I still try posting and all of that. Yeah. Still yeah, try reading. It's, reading, uh, it's very school like right now what you're doing. It's yeah. whatever goes here comes there. Yeah. Goes yeah. Here, and like you have to remind, like, okay, now take a selfie. Like, okay. <laughs> but uh, most of it I've heard uh, verbally from yeah. people around. Yeah. Not really read a lot of uh, comments and all yeah. that because uh, I don't know, because there are a lot of haters, a lot of people who like you also, but yeah. uh, I don't really uh, follow that. You know, stay on that. We're going to come back to that because that's what's going to happen. You know, uh, Salman Vai said one beautiful thing the other day. He said, I don't want them to become actors. Uh, that they will, but uh, I want to portray them as stars. I happen to spend a lot of time with Mr. Karan Johar as well and said the same thing when Varun Ali and Siddharth were being launched and they're, you know, reaping the dividends of it now. And this star word is beautiful and not too many people can actually uh, lay claim to it. And these two will be able to lay claim to it. That is my prediction. We'll take a little break and come right back. Don't worry. Yeah.